Hi everyone, welcome to my channel today. It's time for another Marguerite Miller uh, CW Planner Prompt. And this one, uh, I think, yeah, I think, number 30. Um, now this one, <sighs> trying to do something a little different. So, the prompts are, if, oh, I need to unbury them, something maroon. Now, I've tried to mix a maroon colour. Hopefully, it's not too far off. Um, it was the best I could sort of do with the colours that I had. Uh, graph paper, which I've just got this one here. Um, origami or another kind of folded paper. Okay, I've made a couple of little butterflies. And I will actually make a third one because, you know, I do like to have a three. Colourful paper. That one was pretty easy. Um, a place. Now, what I did with the place, I went with the Italy. So I've grabbed this Italian napkin, which I'm going to use. And I've also got a stencil, which I'm hoping to use the maroon paint through. So, um, and this is the background that Marguerite's provided which kind of, I guess, goes with that European sort of feel. Um, now, I might just pop some paper in there. Now, this may or may not work. Um, I've already used some of it, so let's have a look how we're going here. If I just use one of the corners, and I've got to take the backing off it. My fingers are so cold. Um, it's not that warm in my house today. And I've turned the heating on, but it doesn't, hasn't clicked on. So I'm really getting a little concerned that it's decided that it's had enough. Because it should actually be starting to heat by now. It's been on for ooh, quite a while, at least one hour maybe. And it's just not hot so and it doesn't even there's no noise um, that you can hear so I'm just beginning to worry that it's not actually working all right I'm just gonna do a little bit of tearing um, where's one of those brushes that I've got uh, not here I've really got to learn to put my stuff back all right we'll just do ripping without um, yeah I keep borrowing things and not returning them and I know I've got those water brushes. I know I've got lots of them. So I don't know where they are. Alright, so that's made it a little bit smaller. Uh, but it still has the Italy thing. Now I've still got I've got this bit of paper to use. And the graph paper. So I'm thinking we might tear those. I don't want big pieces of them. I've still got the butterflies to pop in. <coughs> And um, might just make a strip. See how we go with that. Maybe there. Whoops. Hope everyone's really good and um, weather's good where you are. Uh, and not too cold if you're in Victoria or Australia, even. Though I know Queensland, their weather is always a little bit milder than we have. Right now it's uh, sounding quite nice going up to Queensland. Except that I think they're all in lockdown, which is unfortunate for them. But um, good for us because we're not, and we have been. So I think the poor rest of Australia is now catching up to um, us. Okay, I'm thinking that. You can still see the graph paper. You can still see most of it. I've got uh, the two little butterflies, which I can just spread around, I think. Now, I was going to do a third one. So, let's see if I can remember how to do it without looking up the instructions or dismantling the ones that I've done. Now, it was two diagonal folds. Um, then that was just what I call a rectangle fold. <clears throat> I did have to look this up. And I have done the two there and a test one I did earlier. Okay. Um, now the next bit was to make a triangle. No, that's not right. Okay. Um, that 
No. This is where I'm going to get stuck, I think. No, it's that way. Sorry, I'm probably not even on screen. Okay, so that's that part. Now, the point was down and I had to make the wing part. Okay. Um, now, I think... I think, I think... Oh, yes, I know. Fold that up. And then we had to fold this down. Okay. And they do because the paper was a bit thick, but I really wanted blue. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And I might put put the hearts over the top. So I'm going to glue this down. And I probably should do some distressing just because. And yeah, we might use black today. All right. Let's just move those butterflies. Okay, that seemed a little easy today, so clearly there's something going on. I'm wondering if I've left something out. It seems too easy. Now, I'm not going to attempt that. I might just do these a little bit. that glued there so we might just use glue stick today for those and put that there oh I think this one was underneath wasn't it okay that's all right we can deal with that um, maybe I probably should actually I'll pop that there but I'll move this one the good thing about glue stick, actually, I'm not happy with that. It's not straight, and it needs to be straight. Okay, that's better. I'm going to bring this down a bit. Okay, still not sure that's straight, but anyway. Okay, now we might just do a little bit more tearing. Make it a little bit more ragged around the edges. Oh, no, too much. Okay. All right. Oh, getting it everywhere now. Okay, now this is going to be the challenging bit. happy with that. Alright, now uh, probably the heart stencil and I've just got a little sponge so just going to, yeah, I'm not sure if that's quite maroney enough, um, it's more burgundy I think, I might just pop a little bit more red. Mm. getting more brown. Oh well. I'm sorry but I'll have to do. Alright. Um. Okay. Oh, might need to fix that little bit there. Try not to use too much paint. Hmm, I really like that. Yep, I really like that. I think that'll do though. 
not going to go too overboard because I still have the butterflies and I think I'll need to use the um, art glitter glue and I might just have to stick that bit down first. Oh, where's a paper clip? Hold that down a little bit. And the same with this one. Obviously the glue's blocked again. Let's get it to the point where every single time I use it, or I want to use it, I have to unblock it. Not sure why, but it's getting very frustrating, I must say. Oh, goodness. I know it's cold in this room, but uh, it shouldn't have frozen. Okay, we'll give that a minute. Now, these two are the same size, so we might have one. Now, I've got to remember, I've got to be able to close the book. I was just going to do um, envelopes. But I thought, no, do something a little different. So I'll make butterflies. <laughs> I really like those hearts, I must say. It's a nice stencil, this one. I'm not sure where it came from. Um, but it is a nice one. Pop, pop him there. We may, might have to use a stronger glue. And we'll pop this one there. Alright, I might have to re-glue those, I think. So, let's double check. Something maroon, or maroon, which is the hearts. Graph paper, which is in the back. Origami, which are the butterflies. Colourful paper, which we've got. A place being Italy. Oh, a portion of a brochure or advertisement. Mm, I didn't even look at that bit. But as it's a bonus bit, I guess I don't have to include it at all. So I'm not going to this time. I think there's enough on that page as it is. And it does say bonus. Alright, so I'm going to distress the edges and call it done. So thank you once again for joining me. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.